Hello XT, welcome back to my channel and as you can see I'm back to doing addicted stories and I remember last time we did the encounter obviously both chapters but I have a confession I don't remember anything else like I've had a whole series like 12 videos or something and I know I was trying to read at least one of every different type like there's bone chilling creepy uh, more there's a lot of creepy scary or original stuff like that and I don't remember what I read and what I didn't so <laughs> I'll rewatch these videos um and see what I watched or and what I did not to refresh my memory to continue with it but I wanted to do another addicted story we haven't done one in, like forever so we're gonna still do one but it's gonna be a type that I'm sure we did before, maybe, probably, which is a thriller. It's The Imposter, you know, in honor of Among Us that was popular like a year ago. But who cares? Me, Gaming Ted, and Leanne 1174 played it before it was popular like twice. You can even check the dates on both the videos I uploaded and then the dates on when the game became popular because of big YouTubers and stuff. We did it first, okay? I can come back to it whenever I want. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't really remember how I used to start these videos, so we're gonna just jump right in to the imposter. Ooh, a unknown. That's fun. Ooh, what for should I give the unknown? <laughs> um, ooh. Hi, who's this? I probably sound so cringy, but who cares? Hey, I should be the one asking you who you are. Because you're the one who texted first. I asked you first, mortal. <laughs> I think I'm making him creepier than he should be, but who cares? My name's Emma, not mortal. What? <laughs> Guys, if you get like... And a known number asking what's your name or any personal information about you. Don't tell them, just block them if you're sure that's not like a family member with a new phone number or something. Now, who's this? You know, he could just have asked you and then never replied. So I stand by my theory. Am I you're an idiot? I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I swear to God, I did not read the story before. I mean, obviously, I just started it, but Dan, Danny, what a coincidence. <laughs> I'm the unknown person, actually. That's why I gave him this voice so to throw people off. I'm Dan, secretly Danny. Just call me Dan, okay? How are you, Emma? Fine, thanks. Where do I know you from? Why are you assuming you know this person? Why do you assume you know him just because Dan? Hmm, I feel like I've heard this name before. Well, of course you have. Maybe on YouTube or something. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Uh, okay. I found your number in my phone. Well, I guess he should not really have a creepy voice, but I'm gonna keep that voice for now. But... Okay, Dan, I can relate, because I'm basically the same person, but I can relate. I did, so, uh, well, at least a couple of times find phone numbers on my contacts that I have no idea where they're from. Turns out they used to be you know, phone numbers for my old friends, but then they got from school, then they got a new phone number, so these numbers went to other people. It's confusing, but it actually happens quite a lot, at least to me. What would my number be doing in your phone? I think we went to high school together. Yeah, I I literally have ev like I'm in high school right now, and I have every one of my classmates and other people in my grade that are not my classmates, and I never talk to them. But I don't know why or how, but I have their phone numbers and they have mine. It's just confusing. I guess it's because of the class group chat and stuff. Anyways, there was no one named Dan in high school. Well, okay, I was gonna say, Emma, how do you know that? But to be fair, I know literally everyone in my high school's name. Again, it's just this thing about high school. You just have 
and you know all this information about people you've never met or even talked to. I don't know. Did this, did this ever happen slash is happening to you guys in high school? Like, or uh, like, uh-huh? How do you know all, all this, like, names, phone numbers of people you never even talked to? The, who cares? Why did I pick this story? <laughs> Wait, where's the imposter in this? <gasps> okay, I know that the title implies, you know, and this being an unknown number, implies that Dan's an imposter, but... I want to say Emma's the imposter, so it's gonna be a, a big twist. And Dan is the one who texted her, and she was, like, very okay with sharing her information. So either she's stupid, or this is not the real information. I don't know. I'm excited for this to be the plot twist. I should just read the story and shut up. Well, I should not shut up. I'm gonna read it, but you get the point. There was Denmark, Dorothy, and Delilah. I mean, I understand the first one, but the second two are not even close to Dan, but okay. But there was no Dan. You're probably from some other place. Dorothy Gates? I thought her name was something like that, or is it from a more recent memory of her after she got married? Oh, is that Delilah and her husband? Oh, what a nice wedding day. Dorothy Smith is already married? Smith? I thought her name was Gates. And the name's Gates? Oh, okay, never mind. That makes sense. God, that's fortunate. All the women with great names I know married men with lesser great names, but she's an exception. I agree. I really don't remember you, though. Where was your desk in the first year? Because that was the only time that I was in the front desks, because that was the last year that I was small. Oh. <laughs> she means she grew taller. I thought she was the size of a mouse or a shrimp, and she went through some sort of scientific, uh, I don't know, experiment and became a giant or something, or a dragon. <laughs> I'm reading way too many mythological stuff lately, I know. <laughs> okay. I didn't have much time to look at the other students behind me. After that, I grew taller, and they moved me to the back of the classrooms. I was the last desk in the fourth year. I was with you only in the first year. I just realized his name became... His name just became Dad. She... she so she changed the contact. Maybe he is the imposter. I moved to a different school by the second year onward. I see. Which school did you move into? The nearest high school that is. Black High? Yes, right, that's the one. Black, bla I mean Black High. You know the school from another town? That's amazing. My family visited my cousin's family there in Crown Town. <laughs> I love the city's name. Crown Town on holidays. I spent the summer breaks before my third and fourth year in Crown Town, so I know I know the town. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I also made friends who were black high students. One of them was named Marilyn. I have a friend named Marilyn too. What a coincidence, Emma. We went to black high for the fourth year, didn't he? I mean he. I uh, met he, not we, we never even met, ha 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 ha, went to Black High for the fourth year, didn't he? Yes, we had a promise that we will study at Chase College together, but we never did, because um, he died. But you did, <laughs> I told you I'm Dan. Yes, I accidentally dropped a file in the laboratory when I learned from my best friend in James High that he died. <gasps> oh! My God, I'm actually getting scared. I swear to God, I did not read the story before. How the name Dan, the, they didn't, he died. Oh my God.
I'm I'm actually starting to get chills. What the heck? Is that a picture of a dead person, Emma? Emma, I'm scared for this picture to load in. Emma, what did you just send after this message? She said that there was an accident laboratory. She heard from her friend that he died. Emma, are these skulls? Okay, um... Not what I... Not what was... Ugh, I can't talk. Not what was I expecting. Which is good. <laughs> Why didn't those muggers pair him? My best friend, Amy, ended up cleaning the floor to remove the glass. I didn't get to attend his funeral because the... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Because the fourth year was just the busiest year of them all. I attended his funeral, Emma. It was sad. He was dead, and his corpse was lying there, saying, Why didn't Emma come? What was it like? There were lots of people crying. Well, you don't say. It just sounds like a funeral. Huh. Who would have thought? I was crying also. I was ashamed of it. Lol. Glad I was so tall, nobody saw me crying. LOL, I'm so quirky and funny. LOL, Emma. I don't know. I don't know what Dan's personality is, but I'm having fun. LOL, sometimes when I'm in a room, people forget I'm even there. LOL. I'm pretty sure both of you are wrong. Tall people are easier to notice, but shit. It's like I'm just a lamppost or a giraffe. A giraffe would be very attracting, actually. Nobody would miss a giraffe in the room. Well, maybe they will notice me more. <laughs> so I guess I'm just a lamppost for them. Ha 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 ha, Emma. You're a funny girl, just like when you were five. I like funny girls, Emma. Are you single? I'm not really that funny, but I am. I actually suck at making other people laugh. Even though I made you laugh, so you're probably not a human. You're probably a demon, lol. You just made me laugh. Congratulations! Great, I should try to be funny more frequently, lol. You helped me to be funny, lol. I'm so annoying, lol. <laughs> Why did I make this character's personality like this? L listen guys, if you expect just reading text stories, that's not what you're getting. I'm weird, so <laughs> that's what you're getting. We are a pair. We're soulmates. Don't you think it's fate that I found your number tonight, Emma? Can I take you on a date, Emma? Yes, I always thought there was another person who will be like a real teammate for me. Not a soulmate, a teammate. We're not teammates, Emma. We're twin hearts. You mean we're soulmates? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does this story keep doing this? I'll stop commenting so this stop happening. It keeps saying the things I just said. I hate it. Yes. Did you know that I always believed that Marlon was my soulmate? How silly! No. Yes, we dated! <laughs> Glad he died. I'm so sorry about mentioning this now, but he's the reason why I've been single all this time. I, I actually miss him, although I'll never mind. I can't move on from what happened to him. Well, that sucks. Yes, it does. I feel like if I keep capturing muckers i might bring him back i can't believe they fired me and freed the muckers i cut this morning that really sucks they're not muckers they're the top crime bosses in your town that's why they fired you and that's why i'm talking to you they control everything i'm confused what do you mean? What kind of training did you have, Emma? Soulmates and twin hearts. I didn't study in Black High. I didn't know, Marlin. And my name is not Dan. We never went to high school together. What is this? What's going on? I was hired to find out what gets to you, who you really are, and how to destroy you. From what I knew, from what I knew about you before this conversation, you were... 
an up-and-coming cop on the east side, a graduate of criminology at Chase College and single. Now you told me your story. I can be you. I mean, I can be you. That's why we don't share our private information to strangers online. There's a malware in your computer system that lets me control your computers. I will post. Oh! X team, if you enjoyed this story, uh, leave a like and subscribe for to see another one or see me again. Uh, please, it would really make me happy. I promise to try to make uh, Addicted more frequently, like you'd enjoy. Bye bye!